All right, welcome back to Say Less Footy Podcast. It's round review time or round debrief time. That's right, changing it up. Why not? Who the hell cares anyway? Uh, right, what a round. Finished with an absolute bang, but let's go all the way back to last Thursday. Another cracking match. Well, oh, I mean, depends, I guess, who you go for, but it was still a good game. Knights over the Tigers. At least the Tigers, they, they look like they uh, put a bit more of a fight up. Like, I really liked the, the, the shape that we had. Uh, Will Smith's really bringing um, bringing a bit more shape. Like like I was saying, like, you just the most experienced half that's not injured in the setup at the Tigers, like, 100% use him. I, I honestly think when Brooks comes back from uh, injury, play him at six and just... Uh, Try Will Smith at seven. I think it might actually work. But anyway, I could talk about Tigers all day. Let's get into just the points about the game. Uh, look, they were still in it till probably the second half. Dom Young's second uh, second half try. Uh, and then, yeah, the Knights just closed it out. Uh, they'll need to lift if they're going to beat better teams than the Tigers. But you can see that their confidence and their combinations are really building. Their signs, their spine's very settled. Um, and, you know, uh, Hastings, um, Gamble, Ponga, and Crossland. Yeah, all sort of gelling really well together. Um, for the Tigers, Dream Buller, just so, so, so good. Like, if the Tigers, obviously, they, they sign him up before he played first grade for a few years. If they lose him in a few years, like, mate, I don't even know. Like, that, that would be the worst bit of business the Tigers have ever done. Um, but, you know, Let's hope uh, 2024 is better for the Tigers. But yeah, let's uh, let's move on anyway. Uh, Broncos over the Bulldogs. Bulldogs put up a good fight. Uh, kind of like the first game. They were, they were in it for a bit, probably still about half time. And then just Adam Reynolds, just he's just supreme. Just steps up, goes to another gear. Billy Walters, absolutely fantastic game. I, I really, I love Billy Walters. I, I, I think he, I wish he would have started playing first grade uh, earlier. In his career, uh, for the Bulldogs, a couple of shining lights. Jacob Preston, just Mr. Reliable every single week. Um, and Jake Averillo, great game, a couple of tries. Um, you know, Dogs probably might get, a, might get a win or two at the end of the season here, but I'd say the, uh, I'd say that, you know, next year is going to be much better for the Dogs. Uh, moving on now, Cowboys over the Seagulls, really, really good match. Uh, probably the first time I've, I've seen the Cowboys having to dig in and really have an arm wrestle victory and they, and they did it a lot of hard carries and then just, just a bit of brilliance from some of their origin stars and Scott Drinkwater. Scott Drinkwater is so good, especially close to the line, finding holes, speed, just, he's just so elusive. Uh, he's sort of scored a few tries like that over the last few weeks you know, 10, 20 metres out, just darting through players, stepping. He's so good. Like, people forget that he was a first-choice uh, fullback for Melbourne a few years ago, you know, in front of Pappenhausen, Jerome Hughes, uh, Nico Hines. Um, he, he, I think he's just taken a few years to really find his feet. And, yeah, he's, Drinkwater's fantastic. Seagulls, they have so much talent. Just forward, backs, DCE. I think they, they need to get Schuster, Schuster out of six and they might win a few games in the season. I just, I really find it sort of hard to sort of say they're going to make finals. I, I, I really, I mean, they're an outside chance, but because they've got DCE, but, you know, can we put Johns or even Jacob Arthur in there running outside DCE? I think it's, uh, I, th I think it'd be a good idea for Manly. Um, Next game was a storm over the Roosters. I was never really in doubt. The, the Roosters are gone this season. There's just so much talent and stuff's just not clicking this year. Uh, Xavier Coates had a great game. All the Origin stars played well. All the, I mean, everyone across the board played well for Melbourne. I, I feel like Melbourne are just cantering along. They did lose to Panthers a couple of weeks back. Um, but I, you know, I don't think they were at best that day. I think, you know, I think the Storm are just sort of starting to hit some form at the end of this season now. 
Roosters, yeah, just how about just find some just good young players that you're going to have in the you know, for the next couple of seasons. I wouldn't even play Sawali. Oh, I'd let him go straight to Union or just let him run around in reserve grade. Like, how does it how does it uh how does it benefit your club? Um, you know, just get some just blood some young players in there and just get some combinations up. Uh, give him a bit of give him a bit of uh experience in first grade. Um, and then on to Sunday now. What do we got on to Sunday? Big win for the Warriors. Oh, loving everything about the Warriors. Loving SJ. Him and Metcalf gelling fantastically. Chances on fire. Uh, Jackson Ford, Tohu Harris, Montoya, Berry, DWZ, Adam Fanua Blake. Adam Fanua Blake is the best front roller in the competition right now. Hands down. Just because he doesn't play Origin, he doesn't get the plaudits he deserves. He is the best forward. He plays big minutes. He's scoring tries. He's bending the line. He's doing everything. He is a big part of why everything's clicking with the Warriors this year. Uh, that was a very, very smart buy a couple of seasons to get him across. Um, I reckon the Warriors are going all the way through to probably like this, the second last round, I mean, of the finals, like the semis. Maybe even the grand final, but they'll at least make the semis. Um, Sharks should be doing better. It's They just fail to turn up in big games. So much talent. They've got good ball skills. They've got silky, silky passing hands. They've, they've got big, uh, big running forwards. They're just, there's so much talent there in the Sharks, and it's just frustrating to watch, to be honest. They should be doing a lot better. If they aren't, uh, you know, hopefully they can they can sort of find something in the next few weeks and sort of just dig in. They're still sort of sitting around fifth or sixth on the ladder. There's still a chance, you know, they've just got to just got to aim up against the big teams. Uh, moving on now to Panthers over Dolphins. Dolphins put up a good fight. They were slow out of the blocks, very slow out of the blocks. Came back into the game, but there was just there's just too much class in the Panthers side. Edwards and Targo were absolutely fantastic. Um but yeah, it's just they they I mean obviously you could see that translating that that Panthers system in with a lot of their players in origin didn't work, but it works for the Panthers. They play in a system, they play in a system works. They are talented players, but they're just they're all bought into the system so well and that's why the Panthers are so good. Um, last thing I'm saying in the game is Cody Nicarima. He's just he's having a season. Like obviously the Dolphins, like you know, had some big wins, but Nicarima, I reckon, is probably having his best season I've seen since you know he came through at the Broncos years and years ago. Um, uh, and then on to the last game. So the last game was an absolute cracking game. It could have gone either way. Like the biggest thing for me was the two fullbacks, Campbell, Gutho. Just absolute, just electric competitors. Like, it was funny when we were talking, you know, months ago when Parramatta was looking for an X Factor and then Jaden Campbell's name came up. And then obviously Gutho is the X Factor himself now. Um, but yeah, that was, a, that was a great little fullback duel. Um, yeah, it's, uh, you know, think about. Round five, six, the Eels were nowhere. This is an absolute what a, what a what a what a good end to the season. Like like historically, Parramatta always starts the season really well and then falls away. This this is like the absolute opposite. It's like they're hitting their form at the right time. Uh Titans, they've so much talent. Obviously AJ Brimson to come back in, but like they were the the their team's great. Obviously losing the coach halfway through the year was wasn't uh, ideal, but there's still a lot of lot of uh, talent there, and they just they could still play finals here. They could sneak in. I mean, it's, it's unlikely, but they may. But yeah, it was absolutely entertaining game to watch. Um, absolutely loved it. Look, um, still, what are we? That's twenty rounds of the competition down. There's six or six rounds ago, seven rounds ago. Um, just great footy every single week. I always say it. Um, look, going to post another video later on for my tips going into this round. Uh, thanks for making it to the end. Um, check us out on Instagram and TikTok. I'm going to start uploading stuff there as well. So 
Say less. Peace out.